I don't usually put my own hand in my mouth. Usually it's other people's. But uh, yeah, my hands are small, so. What's your still. what's your level horny right now? I'm super horny. Are you? I'm like always horny. Like. <laughs> but now I'm like extra horny because his dick was in my mouth. Damn. So I want to. And I've done DV, and oh, I love man. that shit. But like, I want to do double anal, but I'm gonna do it on camera. Mm. Yes. Both. I same. love eating ass. Yeah. Like same. a lot. It's fucking yeah. hot. Yeah. Same. And I yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Turned On Podcast. We are, uh, this is what the, sh- give me a second. Hang on. I do this all the time. <laughs> yeah, just gotta let it out. <laughs> yeah, wow, that was good. Can you not do that? No, I got too much shit in my lips. Mm. No, 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 go left to right. There you go. I mean, I can move my tongue, but there's a lot of things I can't do after, like, all the Juvederm. Like, mm. I can't, like, uh, there's certain whistles I can't do anymore, and also, like, that thing. That, like yeah, horse? that. I used to be able to do that really good, and now I can't. Hmm. Hmm. Eh. That's wild. Mm. It's fine. I still suck dick good. Sucks you seat. look like you suck bomb dick. <laughs> Thank you. I might have stalked your Twitter a little bit. Thank you. That's, mm-hmm. like, my favorite compliment ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Turned On Podcast. We are here with Oliver Flynn. He is starstruck, honestly, by our guest. I just glanced over at him and his eyes were locked. This is weird, man. These pants. You gotta um, keep them around your ankles. I'm trying, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm trying. Uh, we are. We have a special guest today. She drove three and a half hours. Ooh. Four. Four. Four hours. Yeah. Four hours to come kick it with us today. Absolutely. Yeah. So we are going to have a fucking amazing time. Yes, we are. Um... Really? Today's guest, her name is Misty Meaner. It's me, Misty Meaner. How are you? <laughs> Amazing. I'm yeah. happy to be here. All right. Tell us more about this tongue action that you got here. Oh, this tongue action? Yeah, because we're the just tongue? talking about that, uh, right? The tongue is only like a small portion of what this mouth do. You have a big tongue? Mm. It's pretty big. Um, I have a pretty big mouth in general. I can fit a lot of stuff in there, I've found over the years. Whoa. I am... Um, you ever like try like stuffing like a bunch of marshmallows? Yeah, yeah I've stuffed there? marshmallows in my mouth. I've stuffed a lot of socks in my mouth. Get like really big gags, all kinds of things. Hand, whole socks? hands. I can like people can fist my mouth, feet. Do it. That's not how you fist things though. You gotta like yeah yeah you gotta uh huh. Oh. Right out the gate, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Yep, oh yeah, there it is. Shit. Mm. That's fucking hot. Mm. <laughs> it's wet. That, that's, <laughs> hot. Mm. that's hot. It tastes good. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. But you can get your whole hand in your mouth. Um, I don't usually put my own hand in my mouth. Usually it's other people's. But uh, yeah, my hands are small, so. Oh my god. Kind of. Impressive. <gasps> That good spit. Wow. Yeah, I love that good spit. That's stuff. fucking hot. I There's like your, bubbles. I like your uh, your whole attire, the bright colors. I love shit like that. Thank you. I just love bright, cute stuff. And I feel like the contrast of like the really bright, cute stuff and the really disgusting things I do is just like to confuse people. It's it's good. That's tight. I'm actually I'm excited to learn what disgusting shit that you do because I did no homework on you. I don't know anything about you. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, but why that's, not? That's how I like to keep it so that I'm like, you just shoved your fucking fist in your mouth. Yeah. My fucking mouth just dropped. Like, <laughs> if I had known that before, I just, that wouldn't be as exciting. So, okay, okay. That's I like what, it. Uh, I'm here just now to get to know you. And they're <laughs> going to get to know you and mm-hmm. they're going to turn us the fuck on. Oh, so. yeah. I do a bunch of gross shit. All right. Um, so let's dive right into it. What is the fucking nastiest thing that you have ever done? Uh, off camera, on camera? So that's a really hard question because it depends on like what you consider nasty. Look, I don't really have an off switch. Yeah. So, so it's like, like some people think nasty is like, you know, spitting in someone's mouth. And to me, that's like the first thing you do when you meet someone. So mm-hmm. Love that. like uh, it, de- it really depends. Everyone's levels are different. If I had to say like the n- some of the nastiest things I've done, like gross nasty like, or okay, like, like sexy nasty. Okay, so obviously like you don't think spitting in someone's mouth is disgusting. No, right? I love spit. Right. So like that's awesome. But <laughs> what is nasty for you? What is like, oh my God, we're about to hit 
my fucking off limit. This is uh, I can't go last year. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I used to work in a dungeon and uh, for a couple of years in Seattle and they did some like crazy shit with hook suspensions and stuff like that. Yeah, that's Ooh, shit. And that's the only thing that I've ever like since I worked there, I would uh, like check people in for the like little play party and yeah. stuff. And I was there to see like the professional do Are his thing. Are you talking thing. like hanging from your skin? Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they, put they these take big ass hooks through your skin. Yeah, they take hooks. Um, they're like usually about that big, and they put them through the first layer of the skin, and then they do suspensions from them. And the suspension part is really beautiful, and I loved it. But getting the hook in, it makes this like terrible crackling sound. Oh my fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it pops in. How much fucking? It's gnarly. How much skin are they? They I pulling don't, to. I don't really know because I have never done it. Uh, looking from fuck. afar, like they go, they don't <clears throat> go into the muscle. I think, or maybe they do. I don't know, but it uh, it gets a good chunk enough that like when they pull it out, it holds like air bubbles, and they have to like press the air bubbles. <laughs> What? Oh God, what so I had to go fuck? outside for that one. Yeah, no. That's the only that's... thing that has ever like squicked me out to the point where I needed to like see, leave. I don't, even, I don't even see. I don't consider that nasty. It was, I consider that. It was crazy. Like a loose screw. See, but to me, like there's nothing. It that wasn't nasty to me, but that's one of the only things that I've had to like not be a part of. Yeah. Well, because it's painful as fuck. But I love pain. A different kind of pain though. that's a different yeah you know that's but that's like, just something that like i was like ah oh, shit like it was so cool when they do and uh, they do these cool it's like art it yeah. looks amazing mm-hmm. afterward but i would just like i couldn't i couldn't be there for the full thing so that's the only thing that's really ever pushed me God, this just made like my belly button hurt there's nothing like within it like <laughs> uh yeah within like <laughs> sex in general like th- there's absolutely nothing that ma- like grosses me out or makes me feel I mean uh, we won't nasty. we won't dig into it but we'll kind of just like tease them with it the conversation that we were having before these cameras turned on about someone and you like teaching them oh well, into, yeah did, have you done you've done that kind of stuff oh uh, well okay so we've talked about it on this podcast before right I don't think so they, so there's the number thing two? is is with yeah we'll the say shit number stuff. two yeah, the we'll sh- say oh number okay two. We'll say number two I don't know no shit stuff. quite yet number say two number two no, I do not I do not personally enjoy that Uh um it is not my thing i do not the amount that i charge in order to do that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. is usually far outside everyone's budget they would like to purchase that yeah so then they won't yeah it's not not that i'm opposed to it it is not my thing yeah it's not it's not my thing yes i've done it got you uh i've done it because it is a very high paying thing and there are a lot of other people in the industry who kind of do the same thing like if yeah. someone's willing to pay that rate yeah like <clears throat> everyone's got a price for something i've learned in my crazy years in this industry that i've met some people that are just like have more money than they know what to do with right mm-hmm. and i ask him i'm like hey man like you have all this money you could go you, you could buy whatever you want mm-hmm. when is it when do you ever reach that point where you have everything you want and now you have to think about like, what can I buy now? So I kind of asked him that question he goes, well, that's uh, and then he referred it back to what you guys get asked. So it's mm-hmm. like when the weird questions come in, it's usually from those people that have bought everything that they've ever mm-hmm. wanted. And now things start getting weird. Yeah. yeah. And the numbers are fucking like astronomical, astronomical. And also like, with fetishes like that, they are far more common than anyone would think. Like that's wild. It just like Scatbook is a thing for a reason. Like that's an actual platform that. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that people post on, and there's hmm. a lot of traffic. That's wild. I do not have one, but like <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> that's wild. I mean, I can't. I I never did that, but I've definitely taken a butthole photo for someone. You did? Yeah, I was mad broke at one point in my what life. It, what was the pose? Uh, it's actually quite funny. Um, my roommate that currently that I have mm-hmm. now, you mm-hmm. know her, uh, she walked in on me, ha! fucking bent over on my, I think I had my, my phone on the fucking 
uh, bathroom counter. Yeah. <laughs> on the bathroom counter. Oh, so you're you have doing a timer? like a timer? Yep. Yep. Uh, fucking professional. So you click and run and then, and then bend I over? I fucking bent over and was like leaned up against my wall with my fucking hand on my cheek and. You did it. Yeah. Amazing. And as I'm doing it, shot. as I'm doing it, my roommate comes around the corner and she's like, Brian. And I was like, you'd fucking do it too. Yeah. <laughs> if you needed that fucking. Right. Money. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Like there, a lot of the things that people ask are not that hard. Like, yeah. But it was like, they, <laughs> it was like at my very beginning stages of being an agent. So like I wasn't an agent yet. I was still on the, like the broke life going into this industry. And, uh, he had messaged me and he's like, Hey man, uh, you're an agent and you probably won't do this, but I'll fucking pay you a big number. Mm-hmm. I was like, fine. Fuck it. Hell I'm yeah. Good. You took the butthole mm-hmm. pick. Yeah. 700 bucks, dude. Why not? Yeah, exactly. 700 bucks. Yeah. yeah. You want to see my fucking amazing. Exactly. See my it's good money. This is such a fucked position, dude. I feel like I'm in handcuffs. Yeah. You're in around my cuffs. ankles mm. for any of you that can't see them. He's got pants, got pants around the ankles. Panklets. 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 They look, they look nice. Yeah. They're tight. It's good pants. They're tight. They're tight. So have you guys ever worked together? Uh, no, we have no. not. We uh, we met at Exotica, though. We did. We did. This just past dick. one? Yeah. <laughs> you looked at his dick? Yeah, a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, it was like a very brief. It was a very brief meeting, but he was, you were wearing some kind of like spandex or something. I was wearing like very short shorts yeah they were tight and yeah. so he was like hi and i was just like you went to shake his hand but you shook his dick that was hanging I was on his just pants on his dick yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah she's like damn that dick looks nice looks nice, so nice. Mm-hmm. you can't i honestly i can't take him anywhere without a girl literally sitting next to him and just grabbing his shit yep Happens. i mean he's wearing towel shorts now so i kind of just want to feel the towel shorts so yeah. you've had you've had eight Instagrams. I have. I've had eight Instagrams. How many Twitters? I've had two Twitters. Twitter I've been lucky with. Um, okay, the YouTube's. I keep this covered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, two two OnlyFans. That was the biggest like punch in the face. But two Twitters and then eight Instagrams. I j- obviously don't even try for Facebook and shit Is like that. Is your whole day fucking ruined when your accounts get suspended? Like Instagram, I don't care at all. Um, I usually get to at this point, like I usually get to around twelve thousand followers, and then I know it's it's just a matter of time before mm. it goes away. And I don't really Instagram isn't like where I do my business. Yeah, I actually learned on Instagram that you can only have five accounts on one cellular device. Oh, they actually device block you. So they Yeah, they blocked me for a year. Yeah, I That's use a VPN wild. for both my Twitter and my Instagram in order to have Smart. them. Yeah. Smart. That's Honestly, my my Twitter got suspended the other day cuz of I guess I uploaded a I downloaded a video off of TikTok that was like fucking hilarious and it had some like Rick Ross music in the background. Oh. And then I put it on Twitter and then I woke up the next morning DM D, DMCA, yeah. right? Yeah fucking was like yo we've warned you enough and i'm like this is my first warning yep. and the whole count got suspended and to me i was like permanently suspended fuck yeah yeah just uh, happened to me a couple months yeah. ago but i'm and back then, up to uh, 30 i think 35 yeah on wait months. is it on twitter. instagram twitter yeah but i reached out to my assistant and i was like yo use your like word magic and get the shit back because my whole day is fucking ruined. Yeah. Because that's where all the work comes in for the models. It's right? true. Mm-hmm. Twitter is a way bigger deal mm-hmm. for me. Like yeah, I, would, the, my first one when that went down, I was at 40k. That was before I started doing mainstream, so I was just like dabbling. But yeah. it was still like a lot of followers to lose, and that's how I was reaching out to people. Yeah. And so to not have that, I was just like, oh, why? Oh, for sure. That's what's up? All but right. They so give me two strikes. That's it. So you just said something that now sparked my next question. So like I said, I don't know really much about you other than I've stalked your shit the other night, and I was like, ooh, she sucks great dick. <laughs> um, so you're a content creator, or you are in mainstream? I am in mainstream. Okay. Yeah, but I how also long have create you, content. How long have you been in the industry? In the like mainstream or mm-hmm. in general? Mainstream. 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 I would say like less than a year nice um i've been doing this for longer than that but mainstream yeah probably about a year ago um i've worked for quite a few 
bigger companies. I don't know if we like say those names yeah, yeah, on here yeah. or anything. Go for it. Go for it. It's fine. <laughs> I think the like first mainstream mainstream sites that hired me were Mike Adriano's. So nice. I work for Swallowed. Nice. Obviously, because I love sucking dick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I work for I work for Reality Kings a couple times. I've done. Oh shit! Now I'm like trying to rack my brain. You've done a lot. How many films do you think you've done? I have no idea. A hundred. Oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Nice. Um, but like mainstream, definitely not a hundred. <laughs> okay. Oh, so like, <laughs> I work. For, I work like... for a lot of like independent companies. Okay. Um, I've done a whole bunch of fetish work. I've done like, but yeah, like indie clip stores and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. But that's what's up. but mainstream, yeah, I'm just I'm like just getting started with <laughs> with mainstream. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. I hope I didn't offend you by asking you are you content or mainstream. Oh no, absolutely not. Like I said, I like to keep it as raw as possible. I like to just be as stunned as them when yeah. they hear it. Um I've tried doing like my homework in the past and it just like I said, the the reaction Yeah. To me I don't think is like yeah, no, no, I'm, um, it's, you're going to have a really hard time offending me. And if you do, I will say, I don't thank like you. your socks. I'll say, thank you. Um, really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. They <laughs> say like me. I know. I was, you said, <laughs> but I'm going to. Yeah, no. Oh, does he have permission to do that? I mean, I absolutely want him to so badly. <laughs> Sick. Did you guys talk about that before? Or you just were like, I'm going to pair you up on this podcast. And I said his name and you just were like, hey, I'm going to fuck him. Yeah. That's tight, man. But I like I already wanted to fuck him. So. Yeah, that's tight. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It was just like a benefit. But yeah, I'm not. You've been wanting to fuck him since you saw his wiener at Exotica. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys live in the same state and have never I had no tried idea. to. I had no idea you lived she here. She's four hours north. She drove four hours south here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For you? Yeah. Not for me. No, it was for you too. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Especially with your pants around your ankles. Love that. <laughs> Love that. Cool. I'll take it. All That's the way cool. from Tampa. That's cool. I'm, honestly, I just had a girl yesterday. I guess she flew all the way from Canada. Mm -hmm. So oh, she's yeah, still, she she's got Canada. your beat, but like yeah. four hours is still a far drive. Yeah. That's cool. Man. You guys are kind of a big deal. Ooh. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> do, you like think, do you think you're a big deal? Me? Yeah. Uh, when you're drunk. When I'm drunk? Yeah. Sometimes? <laughs> when you're sober. No. <laughs> when I'm drunk? Yeah. When you're drunk, you're like, I am the MVP. Are you Are you more, I mean, obviously everyone's more wild when they're fucking drunk, but your drunk sex, is it better <laughs> than sober sex? Um, in some instances. Are you like, yes. yeah, fucking hang me, I'm drunk. Well, I'm like that all the time, though. See, that's the thing, is like, I'm... You wouldn't get hung if you were sober. Hung, hung. The, the, the hooks. The hooks and shit. Oh, no, I thought you were like, talking about something around my neck. I was like, yeah, I'm down. This girl is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like a fucking noose? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you done that? Um, no, but there, I've seen a lot of scenes that I would like to do where it's bonded, like neck bondage, but they keep you on your tiptoes. Mm. Shit. So you're like uh, in that position. You have to keep yourself up. Like I learned, I learned something hot. yesterday. So, okay. So are you into breathe play? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I am too, to an extent. I like yeah. waterboarding. I think the shit's hot as fuck. Right on. Right. Your smile is just like, yeah, fucking <laughs> <laughs> choke me. <laughs> um, but no, I learned this thing yesterday. I don't know what it's called. I think it's the gimp or something. Where With the you, full cost, the full outfit? Uh, she was saying that guys will put themselves in like a body bag. Yeah. And just fucking zip that shit shut. Yeah. So that's like. Um, and then suffocate themselves. Yeah, so that's like mummification. Um, there's like a gimp suit is okay. something where you're put into it. A lot of the times it's latex. Right. And it's a full body suit that covers the no full mouth face. Piece. No mouthpiece? No mouth. Um, but a gimp usually, and this isn't all the time, but is like people like dominatrices will bring their gimp <coughs> around. Mm -hmm. So you're, yep. they're like in the gimp suit and they're the submissive and they're the, just an object to be yeah. like fucked with. Uh, mummification is more like you can get in the suit and they have things where it takes the air out. Like it, yeah, <laughs> fuck that. And they put like a straw in your mouth. Um, they have cubes that you get into and they and vacuum they seal it. Yeah, I've seen those cubes. They're yeah, pretty, pretty I've done the cool. cube. That's why I've my, done the cube. Yeah. My, my thing, like I said yesterday, was that like, what if the zipper breaks and you got to undo it? 
You just cut it you off. You cut it, yeah. And, like, how do you, if you can't hear what they're saying, because they're fucking, you took all the air out, There's right? a lot of trust. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm saying there's trust in waterboarding, but that's, oh, like, yeah. that's, like, not as fucking crazy as mummification. Yeah, waterboarding, actually, it's funny, because I, when I tell people, when we go through, like, your yes and no list... Mm-hmm. Uh, for the longest time, waterboarding was like the only thing on my no list. Really? And it, like now I, it's something I want to do, but it was definitely not something I wanted done by like a stranger. Yeah, <laughs> no, of course. Of course. But that was, I would be like, they'd be like, okay, what? so what's, you say you like everything. Like, what are your no's? And I'd be like, waterboarding. And they'd be like, that's never going to happen in this scene. Like, what's, what's the type <laughs> of waterboarding that you do? I have, I've never done it still. Oh. So it's something that I want to do, but mm. I just I just haven't. It's gotcha. not something that's come up in like a environment that I'm down. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah, I'd, I would want to do like full interrogation style waterboarding. Yeah. See, I've I've like jokingly done the one with like the cloth. Yeah. And like, I had her on her full submission. She actually we didn't even fuck during that time. Mhm. And uh, it was all just like. She liked pain. Yeah. So it was, what's the word for that? Masochist. Masochist. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, she was that. And uh, it was hot as fuck. And yeah. pouring fucking cold ass water. Had a cloth over here. Mm-hmm. You know, choking, whatever, whatever. That was hot. Yeah. But the cool thing about BDSM in general is that it there doesn't have to be any sex involved at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And True. like, I can't, like, I personally can get off. And I, co- I've never come harder than I have from just pain. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just and no sex or anything. I mean, I fucking love sex, but don't get me wrong. I love it's just, sex. it's crazy to me. It's how just a different thing. Yeah. It's crazy <laughs> to me how you can get so turned on by getting the pain. Mm-hmm. Right. And then it's like opposite for me where I get turned on by like giving you the pain. So I actually get turned on by giving it to you. <laughs> fucking crazy. I, do you get, I do both. Really? Do you, mm-hmm. as a, Another dude, do you get turned on if you're like really rough with a chick? Yeah, it depends on the day. It doesn't make you feel like How a crazy do you feel person, today? right? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to <laughs> see. <laughs> I guess question for both of you: Does it make you feel like a crazy person that you actually are getting turned on by hurting someone? I know I'm a crazy person. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've okay. already come to terms. <laughs> I think we're all crazy she here. She says that. <laughs> like, I know. I love, like, I am a switch. So I am a full-time submissive, and yeah. I also love topping mainly women. Love that. Um, yeah. I really get off on hurting chicks that like to be hurt, obviously. Yeah. Humiliating awesome. chicks. Like, I love it. That's so cool. I do both. Sometimes mm-hmm. I like to be humiliated. I just, I don't get embarrassed over anything. Same. Like, it's hard. I just, I don't know where it came from. Just somewhere in my life, I was just like, fuck it. Like, I'm going to embarrass myself all the time. And Exactly. You know. Are you yawning? No. That's not allowed. Wow. Can you slap him? No. Slap him. Do you want me to slap you? What is this? Slap him. Who need you, consent. <laughs> slap him and just, just pinch his nipple. You can pinch my nipple. Sure Tell him to wake up. Ah! Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm awake now. All right, guys. Awake. I was awake before too. <laughs> Are you I just yawning? I needed more oxygen in my brain. No yawning. Not loud. I just needed more yeah. oxygen in my brain. That's it. Well, if we had some dope ass seltzers, you know. Yeah, the seltzers we got are butt. <laughs> I have drank. A few of them, and I am a fan because they are seven point five percent alcohol, and so maybe when they're cold, they're good. They're all right. I'm there. Okay. I would rather be drinking a mamita. Yeah. Why didn't you get any? Why do I actually? I don't even have mamitas out here. It's the Honda. I've never heard yeah. of mamita ever. Honda. 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 Honda, like the car, like Idiot. my car. Honda. On. Honda. 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 Gotta use the tongue. Honda. 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 Honda Beach. Okay. One on the beach. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, give me. Uh, I asked everybody this. What's your body count? <laughs> That's the fucking greatest <laughs> answer ever. That is the greatest fucking answer. I stopped counting um, <laughs> in high school. <laughs> you stopped counting in high school. Yeah. 
I stopped counting after 40, and that was a long, long, long time ago. I was a huge slut before I did porn. Like, this is, yeah, porn is not uh, where I started to be a hoe. I was a hoe before then. So, porn just is something that came naturally. Yeah. After that. Yeah. Hmm. I, hundreds, 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 hundreds. Take a ballpark. <laughs> it's it's so hard. Like it, there's got to be at least three hundred, four, three hundred or four hundred. Because hmm. if you count like orgies and stuff yeah. like that, like that's hot as fuck. Good yeah. for you. So many. Good for you. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I met a girl the other day at a club. And she just asked me out of nowhere. She's like, "Yo, what's body count?" I was like, "I don't know, like three eighty-five." She's like, "Dang, I've only been with seven. Oh, did you say I'm And in sorry. my mind, I'm like, you're so fucking hot. Mm-hmm. How? Like, oh, man. I have this thing. I have this mindset that when I see girls that are just hot as fuck, like yourself, I just think that y'all have done everything. There's and y'all a- have just yeah. been with every fucking guy. Yeah. Everyone's different, though. Like, some girls are kind of conservative, and they treat sex like, like you said, much you, differently. You said you stopped counting at 40. I think that's such a low-ass number. Like you should have lost count at like a hundred. Well, so my, well, how I started was I was like counting on my fingers and my, my toes. And then I ran out of fingers and toes and I was trying to remember each person like through fingers and toes. And then I had to do it again. And then that was way too complicated. So I just stopped. Yeah. Way too complicated. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Like once I started having orgies and going to sex parties and stuff like that shit gets way too hard to count. Do you go to oh, sex man. clubs out here? I have here. I go to Caliente. I love Caliente. Um, that's take near me. me. And you take me? Huh? You take me sometimes? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's a nudist resort so and dope. a swingers club. Nice. So, but they have oh, like yeah. a giant club and they have DJs and stuff. It's I've never been fun. to like a resort for mm-hmm. like that kind of stuff, but I've been to like some sketch ass clubs in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like uh, Florida is just like a whole nother level. So Florida is actually the swinger capital. Mm-hmm. Like there are more swingers here than anywhere else in the entire United States. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's um. So Caliente is not only a resort; it is a place where people live. So it's a like there's neighborhoods in there. <laughs> Damn. And then Paradise Lakes is another swinger resort slash community. Um, and I think there's a few more, but th- these are like full on neighborhoods, little towns. Yeah. And hmm. uh, a lot of the swingers are now content creators. So I have a ton of really close swinger friends and they're all like, they do super good on OnlyFans. I just, I think it's amazing on like pre COVID, like, like pfft, nobody was doing shit on camera and now yeah. everybody, mm-hmm. do you feel the same way? Uh, no, because I like, even when COVID was happening, I was in Vegas at the time. And I still shot. Um, I mean, not like, like, I was not, like, like, not like pre-COVID, like right before it happened, but like the years all before. There's definitely more OnlyFans. Like yes. I've been in this industry for what, eight years now? Mm-hmm. And the first four, nobody was doing that. Yeah. And now I feel like because of when everyone lost their jobs, mm-hmm. everyone resorted, hey, let's just get naked. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone just started having sex. Yeah. That, I mean, there's, OnlyFans got flooded. Yeah. I know that. Flooded. But honestly, fuck OnlyFans. I mean, if any OnlyFans people are watching, I love you guys. You're so great. But fuck OnlyFans. Yeah. They do not want sex work on that platform. Mm-mm. It's just a matter of time before we're oh, all yeah. kicked off. That's whack. Yeah. But... Are you Jeez. putting them back on? I need it. Are I you chilly? A, I need to adjust my leg. You're a little chilly? It's a little cramped. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't do that with the pants on or else they'd rip. <laughs> oh. uh, but that's why I'm working out, to lose weight. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love working out. Mm-hmm. You ever worked out naked? Yes, many, many times. Have you ever driven your car butt ass naked? Yes. Does it give you a rush? It's a weird... It's weird. It's a as weird fuck. but fun thing to do. Yep. So you've yeah. done it too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I really like masturbating while I drive. Hmm. I've only done that twice. Uh it's I mean it's a little bit harder for you because you gotta fucking like stroke your cock, right? Yeah. But for me, like if I bring a vibrator, there's for some reason I come so hard when I'm driving. Huh. And I don't know if it's like because I like people can see in the windows right or because i'm like multitasking 
Mm. But there's something about it where, yeah, I just. I but love now, it. like when you're driving naked, mm-hmm. where are your clothes? So normally when I'm driving naked, it's because like I'm really hot. <laughs> right. So I, t- I'll take off. Usually I'll take off my shirt and put it somewhere near vicinity, and my shorts I just pull them down. Like you, you gotta said. throw everything to the back. I well I keep That's it because. A rush. Because God forbid you get fucking pulled over. Exactly. I know I get pulled <laughs> and you over. You gotta climb in the you back. Climb in the back. Butt fucking naked. <laughs> I'm like, not... why is this naked dude climbing around his car? <laughs> yeah. Fucking AC broke. You know, yeah. it's fucking. Yeah. I don't want to like if I'm gonna get like a public indecency charge, I want to be doing something. You think than that, that would be? Would that be public indecency? I don't know. Driving naked in your own car? I don't yeah. know. Other people can see you. You're on a public windows. road. True. So. I don't know. I've done it two ways. I've just put it down by the bottom where my pedals are, and I was like, yeah, this is too easy. And then another time, I wanted to go get fucking food late, late, late at night, all the way through Jack in the Box. Full ass naked. You were naked to the Mm drive-thru? Have you ever got it? Because I got tinted ass windows, and I just was, I rolled it down enough to get the fucking bag through. And I was like, dude, my window's broken. Have you ever got your dick sucked through a drive-thru? Yeah. Yeah, I like doing I feel like that. That's like I've done it in the <laughs> drive-through, the car wash, uh, the Hoover Dam, <laughs> the Hoover Dam, like around the fucking around the bend. <laughs> you know, it's cool because it's like slow. You know, yeah, you know, and you absolutely. See yeah, I've, I like sucking dick in. in oh, cars and also too. a Victoria's Secret dressing room. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. back in 08. That's Victoria's Secret. Yep. <laughs> this guy <laughs> had sex in the Versace. Versace dressing, Versace dressing room. room. I didn't even know Versace had like no, actual Prada. stores. Wait, are these? Wherever he got Prada. the towel pants. Maybe you should just take them off. I can't. I don't have underwear on. I don't. I, I was gonna say I don't either, but I put I some on either. just for this. <laughs> I am wearing underwear. I how, never wear underwear ever. Either. How how tall are you? I'm five seven. Five seven. I'm tall. Yeah. I like your butt also. I'll give you that compliment. My mm. butt. Yeah. Thank you. I just got it. What the f- what do you mean? Uh, I got a BBL in September, about a, a year ago. Hmm. Oh, no. I would have never known. Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I always had a, an, an ass, but it was really, really muscly because I work out a lot, and I wanted, like, a fat ass. Love that. I yeah. wanted, like, the jiggle. Yeah. Love that. And then, uh, God, look at those cute little fucking Converse you have on. <laughs> Hello, kitty. I do all this for in the car. Dog. Dog what size? What size them feet? Uh, eight to nine, eight and a half sometimes. And you love those toes sucked or what? I fucking love it. I like getting my toes sucked. I love sucking toes. Damn. I love. I really like feet. I do a lot of foot fetish stuff. That's that's what's up. Yeah. Ryan's Both ways. A toe bro. Yeah. Toe bro. I got a He's shirt a that's coming out. It's toe bro. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I you know I know a lot of people and that's their thing. So. What what color do you paint your toes? Do you want to? Do you want to see? I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess. Yeah, hell yeah. No, I mean, I'm not gonna say no. I paint them all different colors, cause well, I get toes bruised, but right now they're pink. Love that. You ever do them white? Yeah, I do white. I do French. I do red. Oh my god. Slow, slow, slow. <gasps> slow. Slower. <laughs> Yeah, the guys are losing it. Oh, look at that. Fuck. They're pink. Love that. They're pink. <laughs> yep. I like. That's fucking hot. Good shit. <laughs> I'll put them in my mouth. I don't know what it is about feet. Oh, God. Feet just make... I, I love feet. I'm it's kidding. wild. Yeah. Yeah, do it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You know that you've yeah, heard dude. about like why people have... So many people have foot fetishes, right? Uh, I've heard so many different things. So it's actually like goes all the way back to. It's your brain. Oh, okay. So in your, if you look at your brain. Tell me how more fucked up I am, please. No, it isn't fucked <laughs> up at all. Uh, actually, it just um, the like neuro center for pleasure and sex. Try to put your, because you're coming in on his also. Yeah, is like directly by, the foot like receptor wait say that again so in your brain yep there's like the scent like where the little neurotransmitters go for pleasure and sex Mm -hmm. 
is directly next to like the foot transmission, you know, hmm. for like your nervous system and stuff. So in your brain, those two are so close together that for a lot of people, they cross over. And so mm. foot, the foot fetish is the most popular fetish in the Damn. entire world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used to, I see Yeah. I used to think I was a fucking weirdo for liking feet. And this was like before I got into porn. So like before I knew like that the world wouldn't judge me. And then all of a sudden I started telling like one person after another, like, yeah, I like feet. And they're like, that is the most not weird thing. Everyone like, likes feet. Way, way weirder stuff. Wait, so I need to be closer to this, but also it needs to not co cover my face. So. Okay. Yeah, no, you're fine. However, you just were. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Word. Oh man, dude. The guest is always the co-host is always you know so fucking lucky. <laughs> I am very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got mm -hmm. some. I'm just trying to. Get, I'm just trying to get in the right position for the microphone. No, oh, you're you're, <laughs> you're doing it. Yeah. You're doing you're it. Doing it. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's fucking. Cool huh? I'm distracted now. Are. I know it's a chain, actually. I see that. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have you ask one of us some questions. Let's see what goes on inside that crazy mind. <sighs> well, shit. Don't hold back. Can I ask you both? You both have to answer. Sure. That makes it easier. Um. Okay, so I probably already know yours, but what is your most ultimate sexual fantasy mine mm -hmm. oh god I, <laughs> no, I mean feet feet i will always love feet it's a regardless. fetish but like what um, what about it what about feet what would happen what would happen in your like ideal situation are we talking feet or are we not talking feet you're it's this is up to you this is your i always feel very scared to say it on video yeah because that. people, again, are so fucking like, oh, Judgy. let's fucking cancel him, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and then me being an agent, and the last, it's like, it's hard for me to say it. Uh-huh. Uh, Is it legal? Oh, yeah. Then you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I should, can I just text you? And just you tell me if it's cool? Yeah. And then I'll say it? Yeah. All right. Oliver, I'm going to text you. All right. I got my phone right here. Sick. All right. <laughs> Little. Really sweet after reading. Can you say that? Mm. That's very. Oh, yeah. And I can tell you how to say it. That All is right. okay for you too. Sheesh. And like everyone else. Are you sure? Positive. That's not like uh, everyone attack you. No, because I'll I will explain how you can say it that okay. it's not like that. Okay. All right. The faith is in. You got your notebook. Ready to I'll take some notes? Go ahead. Hit me with it. <laughs> okay. So to say it, this in a PC PC way, uh, we call it CNC. Oh fuck! I would. Yeah, I know that. So uh, consensual, not consent. Yep. Is it means both parties are consensually agreeing to not consent. Yeah. And mm. that's like one of my biggest kinks too. Yeah. So CNC is very, very popular. Yeah. So, so okay. and it's so, not a cancelable offense at all. So CNC, I've learned recently, mm -hmm. maybe just like less than a year ago. And this girl was literally explaining to me. Am I even fucking here right now? Yeah. Uh -huh. We're listening Jesus. to your fantasies and it's getting us turned on. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Maybe her. I don't know if you're into that type of shit. But uh, she all. basically told me about CNC. And yeah. she was like, hey, this is this is what I like. And let me explain. And she went into full depth with it. So basically her fantasy pushed into my fucking brain mm -hmm. to where I was like, man, that fantasy sounds so fucking hot. Yes. And you're just getting, what are you getting turned on by this? I'm excited. I, lo I love it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically her fantasy is now in my brain mm -hmm. and I want to do that. Yeah. But it's like, that's, I feel like to me, that's a hard conversation to have with someone unless they're like, you know, I feel like. 
like it where we're at now, like a lot of girls just come right out the gate with like, I like CNC. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot of girls are like, Yeah, I want you to like abduct me and like throw me in a sack and throw me in the back of your trunk and take me somewhere yeah. and like do whatever you want to me. Yeah. That's like a popular thing. Has right CNC now. always been around? Because yes. I feel like I've only started hearing it a lot. Can you guys I had to move it. Fucking I don't want it to dude. pop out of the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hard and shit. I'm getting turned on. <laughs> yes, it's always been around. Maybe after meeting this person, I've now just started hearing that term. Yeah, more that's just now. like that's just the PC way of saying it. Gotcha. Like, I would just call it what it is, personally. Yeah. Uh, but in order to not like trigger people, right? Yeah. That you just say CNC. Gotcha. But. Oh yeah, that's my shit. Every time I hear CNC, I just think of the like machine at the factory, I'm just like making. <laughs> what does it do? It just makes like plastic figures and shit. <laughs> what? It, it, like, what kind? The CNC machine. It like drills and cuts things. Have and, like, you you worked in factories? Yeah. Okay, that's, like, you, why. Yeah, that's just, why. Every time I hear CNC, I'm like, oh, CNC machines just cutting <laughs> fucking metal pieces. Metal pieces. You sound out. like my idiot friend, dude. I, I told him the other day, I was like, yo, you ever heard of CNC? He's like, what, GMC? Like the fucking powder for the gym? I was like, you fucking moron. No. Yeah, no. I might have to block that, truthfully. CNC. Paul's going Paul's gonna to have to, I think, because it's YouTube. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. No, I I mean Now I'm just fucking popping out of these shorts. Just like just take your pinky and just like tap it. Oh my god, it's flexing over there. <laughs> Alright, we only got like probably like fucking oh. twenty five more minutes before you can pop that in your mouth. Can I'm like, you? wait, I'm trying to think of other questions for you guys. Oh yeah, what is your ultimate? So sorry my answer fantasy? was kinda like sorry guys, I couldn't really say it, but like if you're smart enough, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And uh Ultimate sexual. Put your mouth on. Put your mouth on the mic. I will. Wait, let me take a sip. This is something I haven't done. No, it could be something you've done. Hmm. Might be the longest pause that we've ever had. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm a thinking. hard question, it's especially a hard, for a, a porn star. Like, it's a hard question for sure. Um, I mean, I would have been able to answer that right away. Yeah, same. Granted, this fucking <laughs> cameras weren't on. Is that what you're dealing with right now? Yeah, kinda. Um, well, maybe you can text it to her and she can <laughs> use her words. No, it's uh, I don't really have any fantasies anymore. What? Boring. Because you've done it all? Yeah. I highly doubt. I'm sure there's something that you have not done. That I want to? Yeah. No. You've done it all. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I find that str- I feel like I'm never. So, so before porn. BP, did it all. <laughs> before porn, what was like your. Okay. Before like I mean, I had I had over a thousand partners before I was in porn. Okay, so before like you got super sexually experienced, what was like your thing? Like, what did you have to do? What is like your porn category that you go to look up? I don't watch porn. Hmm? I don't watch porn. Did you ever? Yeah, but it was only like super amateur shit. I just liked it. I like amateur too. Amateur like mm-hmm. phone. Same. In the corner. Same. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, you you asked a fucking tough ass question. Blowjobs are hands down my favorite thing on the planet, and eating pussy is like the oral oral sex. That. Oral period. Sensation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oral is like my biggest like. That's your thing. Yeah. What What is it that you like about it? Like just the feeling, or is it like deep throat, or the drool, or gagging? All of that. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. Blowjobs are my kryptonite. What's your favorite thing that you can have done to your dick during a blowjob? Throat. Throat. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, I can do that. I fucking love just that. That's my out. favorite thing too. In, <laughs> and out, <laughs> in and out of the throat, real good stuff. Yeah. 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 Wow, that was a that was a big question to ask. <laughs> it was. It's hard to answer when I, when you've done everything, you know. It yeah. is. 
See, I haven't. I feel like I haven't. I'm just like crazy up in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I feel like I have a long way to go till I get to the point where I'm like, yeah, f fuck everything. Yeah. Like yeah, where you're at right now. Yeah. <laughs> like I've done a lot of stuff, but I still have like bucket list things that I want to do. So yeah. I just like I tell everybody on here. Everyone's already knows this by now. And some people are going to find out. But I just like really fucked up. I'm really an asshole when it comes to if I'm being intimate with someone like verbally fuck you up. Like, I just love talking shit. Yeah. You know, like you mean nothing. That's yes. Degradation. Yeah. That's yeah, like yeah. one of my biggest kinks ever. That's hot, dude. And like, that's like you were I saying. Like it's I keep hard. finding these guests I know nothing about and y'all just that yeah. fucking You crazy gravitate like toward them apparently. Yeah. <laughs> but like how you were saying it's hard to like make you embarrassed. Yeah. I'm the same way. So I just love when people try. Yeah. Mm. Like if that's something that they're cool with, because I don't like when anyone like tries when the, it's not their thing because then it just doesn't <laughs> it's work. awkward yeah it's very weird but very if awkward. you're down to try like to, you I, like i love when people make me cry because i don't usually cry but yeah, it's just like <laughs> but all, but it's it's just hard like it doesn't it really just doesn't happen but when you're crying during whatever you're going through you don't stop right no it's fucking amazing yeah yeah that's like the best orgasm ever uh -huh. <laughs> so i love being humiliated degraded and like i want to feel like less than that's cool so that's yeah. super cool mm -hmm. how long have you been into that um forever i was into bdsm before i got into swinging um and I did, like, I was on FetLife and all that stuff when mm. I was, like, 16, which you're supposed to be 18, but I was super young. No, you get away with a lot more shit back then. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right so I was, on, yeah. I was on there, and I was, like. I think I was on phone sex chats yeah, at, like, 14. Like, oh, was, yeah, for sure. It was, it was hey, easy. what's up, baby? It, it was easy to be <laughs> kinky. Like, I just, I remember, like, one of my first, like, early, early memories is walking through like the pet aisle of stores and seeing like the chains, like the chain collars and stuff and just like wanting them. <laughs> like yeah. You know what? You're, you're not the, you're not the only one to think like that. I think, uh, I think I've walked through literally a pet aisle once and I'm like, fucking looks like a dildo. Yeah. There's like tons of yeah. stuff. Yeah. The there's dog tons. toys that yeah. look like fucking double sided dildos. Fuck yeah. 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 Yes. And I'm like, exactly. I know you guys are all picturing the same exact yeah. one yeah. at every fucking pet store. Right? Yeah. It's the it's same double -sided material. Dildo. Yeah. It's a double sided dildo. Yeah. I'm just like, what, what it is. Get, you're in a you're in a Petco, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> fucking little <laughs> But it's just like that's just always how I've been. My first boyfriend ever. We had a master slave relationship. Like I've just every relationship I've ever had has been uh, a DS dynamic, so power exchange, like that's just, it's just how I am. Yeah. Do you have like a breaking point of verbally, like anything verbal? That like is there like a certain, is it a word? You don't have to say it, but is it a certain no. word? Or a certain. <laughs> no. 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 So no, no, it's on. it's kind of the opposite. No, no, no. But I'm saying like, <laughs> like, to make you cry. Mm -hmm. Is it a certain word? Is it just pushing your pain to the point you can't handle it anymore? Uh, or is it taking something that's so personal and bringing it into that situation that makes you cry? So for me, the really interesting thing, and like my partners have to learn have learned this, is that like my pain points don't come from that. Okay. They're in different ways. So, like, my partner, if he wants to punish me, he will just not talk to me. Mm. Wow. So you find the actual pain points. Like, you can beat the fuck out of me. You call me names. I love it. So, like, if you want to actually get to me, you have to do things, like, reverse. Mm. Okay. So, like, I'll get, like, time out. Wow. You know, or something like that. Or, like, yeah, it, being ignored. Like, that is a, that's going to drive me crazy. Shit. So it's it's hmm. there's nothing that anyone could say to me that would make me cry at all. Damn. Okay. So just yeah. don't talk to you. Yeah. But that that has to be someone that you are in love with. Yeah, or... that I care about. Okay. So not anyone can just fucking make you cry. No. The only person that has made me cry, I think, in the past like ten years, is m my current dom. Like that, they 
it's impossible. Good for you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> because it, it, there's no one else that can like hit those those pain points. Wow. You know, like anything verbal and pain wise, it just it just doesn't happen. Oh. I love it, but I'm that's like right. that's why I'm like just try, because. While you try, I'm gonna be coming. So. Wow. How, <laughs> mu- how much? How much? How much pain do you think you can endure? Um, I used to be able to do a lot more, but since I started doing mainstream, I can't have like marks. any marks. Yeah. So, like, if you're getting maintenance beatings and stuff, like when I worked at the dungeon. You say maintenance beating. Maintenance right? beatings, yeah. That's what dungeon stuff is. Well, maintenance beatings can be for anyone. It like in that sort of um if that's what you're into, (laughs) but like in order to keep your pain tolerance high, you have to get maintenance beatings. If you go like four or five months without anything, your pain tolerance is going to go back to nothing. I've never heard that saying maintenance beatings. Yeah. That literally sounds as if it is what it is. Like, Hey, I'm going to come over to your house. Yeah. And you're going to maintenance me once a month. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it could be anywhere from once a month to once a week, like depending on what you can or and are into. But when I worked at the dungeon, I was getting beat like all the time, like fucking black and blue all the time. I honestly, (laughs) and where's this dungeon at? Uh, It's in in Seattle. (laughs) No, hold on, I'm not wasn't for that reason. I'm just saying, like, I thought that when you go to the dungeon, I thought the girl is literally beating the shit out of the guy. It's everything. I yeah. didn't know you could do that to the girl. Of course, it's That's whatever the whatever your dynamic is or whatever uh, like they're yeah. like I would go since I worked at the dungeon and then professionals would come in and like if I was interested then I would just like if their thing was whipping then I would be the bottom for what their the like fuck? whipping demo. So you're literally going to work to get your ass handed to you. Yeah, it was great. That's silly. <laughs> I can't do that anymore wow, though, because I can't even have like a fucking scratch on my ass. Yeah, but, exactly. but Shit. yeah, back then I could take anything. Now I'm kind of a bitch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> now I'm like, you spanked me too hard with your hand. Ow! But yeah, back in the day, I like I could do I could do a lot. I've done some crazy shit. That's what's up. What do you uh What do you plan on doing to my friend Oliver today? Whatever he wants to do to me. Oh, that's right. Sorry. You don't, you like it when he says it. You'd I mean, unless he, wa- it. He, unless he wants me to. But I'm, I'm just sure like- he wants to do all types <laughs> of things to you. But I'm just oh, yeah. curious. This is your episode, right? Yeah. So we're here for you right yeah. now. We're yeah. here because of you. You're uh-huh. here because of hopefully this. I, what, yes. What are you going to do to my friend? I'm curious. Because there's obviously sexual tension. Yeah, I you know. You keep I rubbing was, his dick. I had, my, I had his dick in my hand, but he, he moved it off, so I stopped. So well, he told us that we had. Well, to stop. you know, YouTube is YouTube, man. Yeah, Fucking can't, hell. can't over the pants hand jab on YouTube. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. I'm gonna suck that dick. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's I gonna need, happen. I need that. What yeah, positions sure. do you want him to throw you in? Uh, all of them. <laughs> yeah. What's like? Is there a special? What's your, what's your go-to position? What do you like the most? Oh my god, I like all of them. I love being on my knees. I like being upside down. Um. Yeah, some some. Like any, literally anything, some anything driver. where I get. Can we throw some pile driver in this one? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. fucking love pile driver. Pile driver <laughs> yeah, I'm down to do whatever. Like, put me upside down, put me however. I'm, I'm down. Do you like, uh, you like getting your ass ate and eating ass? Yes. Both. I Same. love eating ass. Yeah. Like Same. a lot. It's fucking yeah. hot. Yeah. And I, yeah I'm you know, I used to I used to think it. I used to think a girl that just like openly says like, yo, can I suck your dick? Mm-hmm. Like I used to think that was hot. <laughs> now when a girl is like, yeah, I fucking eat ass. <laughs> I'm oh, like, yeah. All right. It's sick. I'm like, like all right. She, yeah. she can stay. She's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fucking. I just think like if you're going to if you want to like give the full package, like. I'm going to suck your dick, I'm going to suck your balls, and I'm going to eat your ass. Like, it's all... It's the trifecta. It's yeah. all in there, and if I'm going to... I, I want to go from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom, like, uh, I need all of it. Love that. Yeah. I need all of it, too. <laughs> that sounds hot. You're fucking hot. This the is trifecta. great. trifecta. This is great. Well, if you guys obviously want to watch all this shit go down, their Twitters are going to be in the description below. Yes. Which will be attached to their OF, and you can go check out all the shenanigans, like the jerking off that you missed because of that black screen. The uh, 
fisting her mouth. Yep. That also. And and this. Oh. Yep. Black bar. Sorry. Oh. oh. Black bar. You can't maybe, see anything. It's just maybe, her maybe, Censored. Maybe she could even put her mouth on it right now and put a really big black bar. How big of a black bar do you have? We'll just black bar the whole Pull entire the screen bottom. at this point. Oh. I'll keep the, head, keep the headphones on. Ooh. Maybe put the microphone down there to put some ASMR <laughs> on that gluck gluck. Damn. That sucks, guys. There's a huge black screen on your iPhone right now that you're missing out Ooh. on all this. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're fucked. Goodbye. No, oh, are we are we hanging up now? Oh, I don't know. Are we? I thought that was just a you know. Oh. They just got teased. You yeah. know? Now they have to go subscribe, right? They absolutely do. They really need to. Yeah. It's fucking. I think what is what's. I don't know when it's coming out. Not this Friday. Next, next Friday. Friday. Yeah. Thursday. But when they <laughs> see that, when they see this, it's gonna be like they're gonna get all confused. Yeah. Um. God damn. I'm not gonna lie. That turned me on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm sure it turned all of them on too. I'm sure it did. Half this podcast, big. I've had my hands right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you notice it's small. So. Next time we'll <laughs> do. Next time it has to be pants and boxers around the ankles. Shit. And then you just. Yeah. Just hold like this. You'll the whole just have podcast. the black bar. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that would really be a naked podcast. Oh my god. No pants podcast. I think we could probably just go live on OnlyFans for that one. Yeah, we could. Yeah. I've always been afraid to honestly do live podcasts. God forbid anyone says some fuck shit. Well, hopefully, right? Would have been you know, no. people are yeah. smart. Like Ryan can't get high on that fucking podcast. No, 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 uh-uh. no, <laughs> no way. We no. don't want any oopsies. Yeah. <laughs> I do really like your feet, though. It's fucking Thanks. I have like really, really cute tiny toes. No, that's that's they're super that's, small. I dig them. I dig them. Do you get a lot of pedicures? Yes. Because I do so much foot fetish stuff. Yeah. So I just keep them there. Love that. Yeah. And they're size eight and a half? Yeah. Cool. So if you guys want to buy her any, you know, heels or shoes or she loves Converse. Yeah, I don't. I pretty much only wear Converse or pleasers. Like there's no in between. Yeah. I'm sure you have an <laughs> Amazon wish list, right? I do. Cool. Yes. Okay, head over to her page. It's in my um, link tree. That's what it's called, right? There you go. Yeah, link tree. I like how I'm like slowly just. She's, you're just couch. are you just getting horny you just want to it's, wrap this the shit couch up? is eating me and i'm my dress is just coming just just coming up so what's I'm your what's your level horny right now i'm super horny are you i'm like always horny like but now i'm like extra horny because his dick was in my mouth damn so i want to i want to put it back in my mouth yeah <laughs> i can just tease you let's just keep going with this <laughs> give me like 10 more minutes yeah sure give me 10 more minutes can you just keep your m- mouth a little to the mic like this? Yes. Yep. That's no. Oliver, you just fucking <laughs> sit right there down. <laughs> yes. What else do you want to know? Um, I'm an open book. I know. I, I, I love girls that are like you. I just, uh, man, give me a second. Oliver, you got something? Mm. What is the most amount of people? came inside of you in one day <sighs> so i do not do cream pies because oh. i am not on birth control oh. right now okay so the most that i've ever been comes in like if someone has uh, someone i'm shooting with uh-huh. has a vasectomy i'm down but mm. like my one of my fantasies is doing like a cream pie gangbang and i'll just fucking do it and take plan b like i don't i don't care right do you but not have unfortunately, any, I have not done that yet. Do you mm. not have any plans to get on uh, BC? BC? I have tried all of them, and my body has rejected all of them. Mm-hmm. And, like, I had an IUD, and I loved it, and I literally birthed it out of me. Like, it just I hate out. those things. I know. Guys with big dicks don't like them. They're not my <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I've tried, like, everything, and I, it, none of them work. And you like you anal or don't like anal? I love anal. Yeah. Have you ever had two dicks in that hole? No, I'm actually waiting. So I'm like... It's like in your personal life. No. 
still waiting for that? Yeah, I have. So I've done one DP, um, and that's it ever. And I've done DV, and oh, I love okay. that shit. But like, I want to do double anal, but I'm gonna do it on camera. Mm-hmm. Like, that's wild. I actually sure. saw, I saw my first DV yesterday. Really? In person. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of fun. It was. For the it's guy. Hard. Yeah. It's, it looked like it's it, it looks like, like it's very hard. One person really has to like stay in the same spot, and yeah. like the other person's just struggling. It's the positioning is hard. Yeah. But it feels amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> it's hot. It's yeah. hot. So what? What am I? You said you're waiting. Yeah. Even in your time. personal life, though. Yeah. What is? I've it? also ne- like I've never done a gangbang, not even in my personal life. Um. I don't really, I don't do a lot of anal in my Can personal life. Can I ask, like, life. what are you waiting for? I, for just no, elongating. in your personal oh. life. Personal oh. life. It's kind of the same. Like, I want to, like, I just started doing more anal. So okay. I'm, like, adventuring through that. And then I want to do DP, and I'm going to do, like, I'll do more DPs in my personal life and on film. Do you think prolapsing will be something that you like? Yeah, I actually have done that, so a little bit on, which I didn't even know. I was doing it, <laughs> but I watched some video back and I was like, oh shit, like I was almost prolapsing because oh, I was squirting. Yeah. Hmm. So like I was getting fucked in the ass by this giant dick. Can and you not feel when you're, being, when you're prolapsed? No. Like I can't feel when I'm gaping either. No way. I didn't even know I was gaping until I watched video back and I was like, oh shit, that's fucking gaping. Oh yeah. Wow. It was huge. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's great. I'm glad I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I actually I think prolapsing is really hot. And they call that like sunflower, right? Rosebud. 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 Very sunflower. Close. Sorry, dude. Sunflower. <laughs> I'm learning. Uh, sunflower. I'm Rosebud, learning. Rosebud, same thing. I don't know. I feel like people I think has an agent. You just I just fucking know every single terminology. But like, I'm sorry, sure. we don't. You I really, should. I Why don't I, book that type of stuff a lot. Yeah. So. I mean, there's not much of it being booked. That's what I'm saying. One of my bucket list things was to lick another girl's anal prolapse. I was going to ask you, do you do that? I finally got to do it for the first time. It was you so liked hot. It? I loved it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And hers was like out too. Wow. And she like, and she was squirting at one point and yeah, I got Sounds to stick intense. my, I got to stick my tongue like into it. Wow. It was fucking hot. Do you, uh, do you have a favorite porn star that you just, you know, like a, a crush not really. I have friends that I really like shooting with that yep. I think are like the girl that I'm talking about that I liked her prolapse is Lana Annalise. Mm. It used to be Lana Anal, mm. but she changed it to Annalise. Uh, so that was amazing. I love Avery Jane. Um, she's dope. Yeah. Avery, she's, you're oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. She's one of my favorite <laughs> people ever. Like I have a lot of friends that I love and so I love shooting with them. But I don't really like. I love everyone. Like yeah. I just, <laughs> I, I just admire wasn't sure so if you many had people. Like a like a internet crush, like someone that you just you want to work with so bad. Not really. I think I just because I just think everyone's so hot, and nice. I want to work with everyone. And like I, uh, it's just like I love dudes, so I love dick, and so and I love women, so it's just like, <gasps> it's everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and I What's don't up? really have a type either, so I'm just like, and I go off people's energy. So if people are super down and they love to fuck, then I'm just excited to be around them and to have sex with them. That's cool. I got one more crazy question. Do you, are you a fan of getting nut in the eye? Yes. I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. Honestly, oh anywhere that's God. like, it, like I like the eye because it makes it all red yeah. and it hurts. And yeah. so then I like an hour later, I still have the red eye. Yeah. And I think I love that because I'm just remembering getting the cum in my eye. Right. But anything where it's like something different, where it's like fucking, I don't even care. Like fucking put me upside down, come up my nose, like neti pop me. Yeah. Like shit. just anywhere. You want to come in my ear? Like anywhere. I really? love, I love weird shit. Like anything weird. Or I've like, I've snorted cum before i've seen of, people do that but i'm like yeah. i don't know i guess i just kind of like was like what when you said it but he, come in the ear yeah like a wet willy i feel like that would just clog it probably i would like it. probably have to i'd probably get an ear infection <laughs> but <laughs> an ear infection yeah ear infection. yeah, yeah. Wow. but i just love weird shit so yeah, i like, saw this i saw like this anywhere where it shouldn't 
shouldn't be or like that's just different or right, yeah, I'm gonna do a, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this one thing and I'm gonna do a speed round and ask you a bunch of questions <laughs> um I saw this video on Twitter the other day where this girl was literally probably fucked up but she was walking through like an outdoor mall she had nut all over her face would you ever do that would you ever walk out in public yeah you're smiling as if you've done that before I have really yeah it's called a come walk fucking word for everything Come yeah walk? yeah it's a it's something to be proud of <laughs> People, did, did anybody ask you like yeah so it's that? a huge fetish so i've done it for a couple different videos before um i've also uh worn come on my face the entire day i've rubbed it in and worn it like to the gym and stuff uh wow. just because people have told me to you just tell your man like yo nut on me real quick i'm like oh well. he tells me he's like i'm gonna come on your face you're gonna wear it to the gym and you're gonna Oh, work shit. out with it on your face it's like if it starts to come off rub it in and then i do it <laughs> oliver do you think that's hot it's pretty hot <laughs> it's pretty fucking hot yeah but there's a big thing for like big facials and then walking through public places so that's so fucking wild yeah hotels right. apartment complexes all kinds of stuff all right speed round for where cum has been and if because you said that you like it in just weird places yeah on your food Oh yeah, ice ice cube cum, ice cubes cum cum ice cubes. No, but that's a really good idea. All right, cool, do it. <laughs> you should capitalize your, on that. Have your have your dude fucking nut in some in some ice trays. He's made me piss popsicles before. So that's normal. Yeah. But I'm talking. About <laughs> so that's normal. That's normal. It's all the fucking crazy girls I've met on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty normal. No, come in an ice tray. Yeah. And then fucking just come freeze. Use yeah. if you put enough in there, I'm sure. Yeah. You know? And then the next morning, fucking put it in your ice water or your whatever. Absolutely. Put you know? it in coffee. Yeah, co- coffee. Come coffee. Coming coffee's great. Come in protein shakes. Mm, yeah, it's but you haven't on you haven't have it on Not ice cube. Had it on food? On food, yeah. Oh, oh like yeah. A pizza. Oh yeah. Cookie. Pizza. I actually have a scene where I eat come off of pizza. Uh, I've eaten off cookies. I've eaten off meal prepped food. I've eaten off ev- like everything. It's so fucking hot. Man. <laughs> your your man just has full control. Yes. Or he's just living. I am an own slave. <laughs> he's just living the life though. <laughs> yeah, but these a lot of the times it's other guys that I'm eating their come off of stuff. So. Got you. Yeah. And then do you guys? Uh, uh, Every time that you fuck with your mans, is it always recorded? Or do you guys ever, like, balance it out of... With my partner? Yeah. You have oh, a, you it's have, mainly... You have a boyfriend, right? Yeah, it's okay. mainly not recorded. Okay. Yeah, we don't shoot a lot together. We have a... We run a production company together. Yeah. But, like, I PA for it. Gotcha. So, it's... We don't shoot a lot together. It's mainly just us fucking. Hmm. Yeah. I always feel like sometimes, like, I'll have, like off-camera sex with my girlfriend right mm-hmm. and then it was so fucking good and i'm like damn it why don't we record that right yeah we you gotta keep some of it separate just to like have that balance right. you know and so, there's some couples that shoot together constantly like the like the do camming together and stuff yeah. and like that would drive me insane yeah <laughs> that would that would, would drive me crazy mm-hmm. i need the i need the time without the video yeah for sure yeah. that's what's up mm-hmm. Well, shit, I appreciate you coming uh, four hours all the way down here. To come oh, so it. worth it. I, I appreciate you, had you a inviting good time. me. I, yes, I did. Thank you. I, I hope that's being truthful. <laughs> I, I am. I promise. I just hate that I'm in these pantlets, okay? I just want to fucking get out. The fact that you're in the pantlets like, made this For an episode hour and 10 100, minutes. Yeah. 100 times better. It's amazing. I'm cramping. Pinch his nipple. I didn't do you it. You just fucking yawned, dude. I didn't. I was I was stretching. No, that was a I full heard blown. It. I was stretching. That was a full blown yawn. <laughs> Stop it, guys. Yeah, bite his nipple. <laughs> uh, but no, I do appreciate you coming down here. That's, of that's fucking awesome. Like I said, I just moved here, so like you know, oh, okay. now doing these podcasts, I get to meet super cool people that hopefully you know we all just stay friends and kick it and absolutely you know go to fucking sex clubs. Yes. Yeah. Take both of us. I mean, I have a dungeon in my backyard. Hmm. It's big. It's nice. Hmm. But come have you over been? Anytime. To, have you been to the ones down here though? Sex clubs. Miami? No, I do okay. not come to Miami often unless I'm working. Okay. So, mm. Got yeah. you. I need to. Uh, Fetish Factory. Up in Tampa. No. 
down in here. Miami. Okay. That's what everybody talks about. And what's the one in Tampa? There, I haven't been to a dungeon in Tampa. I'm, I have a dungeon in my backyard, like literally in my backyard. What's it called? It doesn't have a name. It's the dungeon in my backyard. There you go. <laughs> I live on a farm and we turned uh, one of these, like they, it's like a huge barn car shop. We turned Shit, the entire nobody thing. nobody can hear you out no, there. No, it's insulated. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I think I, you know what, I'd, I'd, I'd let you put me in your barn. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'll scream for the top of my lungs, you know? Oh. I'll have to take you up on that. Uh-huh. I don't want to <laughs> say I'm like a. I keep saying this on a few different podcasts that I've done, but I keep meeting these really attractive women. Yeah. And I just, I'm like, you know what? I'd let I'll let you ass. fucking do that to me. You're like, I kind of <laughs> want you to shit. choke me out a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Just a little. Yeah. 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 Like this one girl, one that, like, she's like, I've always wanted to piss on a guy. I'm like, you know what? I'll fucking let. I'll be that guy. Yeah. Yeah. You're hot. <laughs> you can lock me in your barn. <laughs> Help. Help! Help! <laughs> it does have a lock. Yeah. That's we are in the tight. middle of nowhere, so you got nowhere to go. Is it a red barn? No. Then it's, it's not, not a barn. It's um we are building the red <laughs> We're actually building the red barn right now. Awesome. Because I'm about to get cows. Oh hell yeah. yeah. New cow fuck milk. <laughs> I appreciate you coming on. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed. If you are not, please do so. It means the fucking world to me. Um, we just hit 120,000 views on this channel. That is fucking amazing. amazing. I'm like, just Do you wow. put the subscribe button on yep. the screen? Paul's Where is it? fucking blasting it. It's right here. It's just right. Yep. Right there. Click. Ding, bell. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Um, you flash your boobs just like one time. We're just gonna put that black bar. Just tease these fuckers. Um, my pussy's probably been out like it's the whole time. Cool. He'll he'll black bar it. <laughs> oh my Which god! All of them. All three of them. All three. <gasps> Ready, guys? Black black bar. Oh, oh man, you guys are missing out. Oh. Wha- Dang, Oliver! If Woo. he just puts his mouth on that. Oh. Oh, black bar. <laughs> Dang, that black oh. bar sucks. <laughs> You guys got to head over to, uh, there you go. Only fans. You can turn on podcast. Yes, sir. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. I will see you guys next Friday. And, uh, you want to say anything? No, you're going to suck his dick. Oh, I'm definitely, you want to say anything? I mean, that's implied. Say it. I'm going to suck that dick. Whose dick? Oliver Flynn's dick. There you go. Yeah. (laughs) Later.